Hello, my friends. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. I'm glad you're with me this evening. Um, what this video is going to be, I have, I've done a, a pantry tour before, but since then, I've made a lot of changes. I've just made some extra space because we needed that extra space. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is take you in there and show you what I've done. And you will see some empty spaces. That's been the whole point of this exercise is to free up more space. And obviously it will most likely all get filled, but it hasn't as of yet. So just as an aside, before we go do that, I would like to ask a small favor. If you're subscribed to this channel, maybe you could just take a moment and check to make sure that you are still subscribed because every day at the same time of day we will lose subscribers and it literally is the same time of day within a half an hour every time so it just seems suspicious and I've heard other youtubers say they've experienced the same thing so if you wouldn't mind going do that for me I would really appreciate it so let's go have a look at the pantry Okay, so first off, I guess I'm just going to give you the overall look of the room. That is the pantry shelves. I'll explain why my water is sitting like that when we get to it. But let's get started, and I'm going to start right down here on the end of this shelf. This is the very bottom shelf, and it's where, on this corner, I have the laundry detergent fabric softeners over there that's the extra dryer sheets and if you can see back in there and I apologize it's dark uh, that's my next jug of laundry detergent sitting there uh, there's a couple of bottles of pickles here that uh, our neighbor down the hall she's an elderly woman. you will notice that these are old covers that she has used several times. It's 18 there and a 21 out there. And I know what you're gonna say, what you're thinking. You're not supposed to reuse those covers. Michelle, Michelle was quite excited by those covers. Uh, they used to use them in the old days. My mother used them and we're still alive, but maybe that was just good fortune. But, video isn't about them I won't worry about them too much right now uh, back in there is some stuff for uh, keto diet xanthan gum erythritol and I think that's it there's just a couple bags of each there and then over here we have dog treats dog food and cat food uh, I have three cans of dog food that we got when he was sick a while ago. Back in there, you can just barely see. There's a couple of jugs of cooking oil and an electric can opener. This shelf here, as you can tell, the stuff in the back doesn't get used. Sorry. Too much, obviously, the dog food, cat food, laundry stuff does get used quite a little bit. So we'll move up to the second shelf now. We have a couple cans of asparagus here, and I'm not sure if we're ever going to get brave enough to try it, but we might. Uh, two cans of tomato juice. I got three boxes of plastic straws back there. We have canned potatoes there. Only one can of whole potatoes left, but some diced potatoes there. We'll probably soon be adding to that. As you can see, we got some empty space here. Here, it's a row of manwich sauce. I think there's nine cans there. Here is table salt. There's eight boxes of table salt there. And then just on top, because of convenience, I have two packages of this Mitchell's soup. That's beef and barley. And the other one is chuck wagon chili mix. So we've never had that before, but it might be very good. We just don't know yet. Here is freezer bags. And back in there is one box of sandwich bags. We got a two pack of them, but we started using one. So it's out in the cupboard in the kitchen. Have two bags of quinoa here. Two different varieties, but the same stuff. 
very good protein in quinoa. We have uh, beef broth here. Beef broth, chicken broth, and vegetable broth down that row. Over here is assorted bags of dry beans, navy beans, pinto beans. There's pot barley, split peas. So a good start, but we probably should have a little bit more of dried beans. We like soldier beans. I don't know whether you guys have ever heard tell soldier beans. It's kind of a regional thing here, but we haven't even been able to find them lately. So maybe they're not growing them anymore. Here you'll see containers. That's brown sugar, white sugar, white flour, and whole wheat flour, and some icing sugar. When I'm baking, I'll come to this corner of the shelf, just grab the stuff quick, and use right out of it. So that's what that is. That's the second shelf. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving up to the third shelf. I'm going to kind of come around the end here a little bit. As you can see there, it's cranberry sauce, SpaghettiOs, Habitat soup here, and a can of chili right there. Here, all through this, there's the cream soups, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. It's Campbell's vegetable soups. We have Heinz tomato soup back in there. There's different Chef Boyardee pastas. These are quick meals. They have the pull tabs. So Michelle has an apparatus here. She can pop that top pretty easy. So if I wasn't home and she needed to get something like that, she could get it. Not ideal, but it's doable. Here we have VH sauces. Nine bottles there, and she got a bottle of jalapeno peppers the other day. We're going to put them on pizzas or whatever. <coughs> and you'll have to excuse me. I should have done my puffer. Here we have three rows of tuna here. I'm going to back up a little bit. Three rows. I'm not even sure how many cans there is, but they go clear to the wall there. Quite a few. There's only six cans of the flakes of chicken. They seem to be, uh, we, we buy these things when they come on sale. And the flakes of chicken have been unavailable lately. So that's why we're down on them. We have room for more. Hopefully they will be more. Back in there is uh, tuna meals, the Rio, you know. Uh, well, I can just show you one as an example. That one there is the Mexican style. They are very, very good. Good protein, and they go good in my lunches. So there's a stack of them. Flakes of ham. There's three stacks, or three rows of them, and they're quite clearly, so there's 18 cans there. One can of baby clams, whole baby clams. This is what Michelle uses when she makes her clam chowder. Now these Mario's, Vienna sausages. We bought six cans of them. I've never had them before. And they're really not that good. But they're food, right? So I'll keep them. They're good for a couple of years here before even the date goes out. So, and you know how the dates work. So we will keep them. They are food. If you got desperate, I'd throw them in my lunch, you know, and take them to work. Uh... These Kirkland brand seasoned chunk chicken breast. That six pack now, if I'm not mistaken, the other day I looked when I was at Costco just walking by, they were $22.99 for a six pack. So it's getting very high. So we have seven cans there actually. You can see one on the top back there. Here, corned beef. We have seven cans of that. And that the date on that is still like Two full years before they expire. And once again, can use it after they expire. I bought two cans of this Mario's luncheon meat just to try. And we haven't actually tried them yet, but there they are. We still have them. Uh, this is the luncheon meat that we prefer. And as you can see, I've got 15 cans there, two rows plus that. And 
If I can get another 15 cans of that, I will. That is really good stuff. It's our favorite, actually, and it's $1.97 a can, so that's pretty good. Bungee cord, just hang in there. Uh, tomato paste down this row right here. I should point, maybe. Tomato paste. There's five cans there, and there's another three cans there. And back in there is pizza sauce. Six cans of pizza sauce. Now, we have pizza kits in another closet or another cabinet. It's not really a part of this tour, but I will be showing you very soon. So moving up to shelf number four here, down this row is tomato sauces, pasta sauce. They're spicy, the original. Uh, this is probably the last can of sauce that we have, just tomato sauce, or it wouldn't be by itself. So obviously, this is the one to, that's closest to the expiry date as well. But I don't believe we have any more just sauce. We have room now. We'll probably be getting some. Next here, we have beans. These Clark beans, the old-fashioned, with beans with pork, this is, this is our favorite flavor. Uh, I'm not even sure how many cans we have. I think there's five of them. Here beside it, there's two different types, but four cans of beans and tomato sauce. Not our favorite, but it's not always just about us. So we have the Clark Old Fashioned here. Back in there is Clark beans with pork and molasses. And there's also a couple of cans of these Bush's Honey Baked Beans. And we picked them up and once again we haven't tried them yet but they might be very good uh i'm gonna show you these and then i'm just gonna set them on the shelf down below just to get them out of the road for the sake of this video two cans of sliced mushrooms 97 cents a can uh we can put them on pizza or whatever we do prefer fresh mushrooms obviously but we don't always have them i have a can of Sliced olives here, one can of sliced beets. We got two cans of these just to see if they're gonna be any good. And they are indeed very good. So we've only got one can, obviously. We will need to be getting more of them at some point. Back in there, uh, assorted peas. We have green giant peas back in there. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's nine or 10 cans left, and I know. We haven't got enough for an extended stay. Let's just put it that way. We have uh, cream corn. We have some of the Walmart, the great value. Back in there. And Green Giant. The Green Giant stuff. I bought them at uh, Costco. And we will be getting more. Have uh, eight cans of yellow beans. Back in there. They're Michelle's favorite, actually. And then two cans of these French style green beans. When I say favorite, I mean, I think she likes the yellow better than the green, but I know she likes this here. I am not a string bean fan. I can eat them and I do eat a few, but I'm not a huge fan. Here we have diced tomatoes. There's only eight cans there. Yep, we need more. Kidney beans, lima beans, here is refried beans. There's the old El Paso ones and two cans of Bush's Best refried beans and then pinto beans back there. Uh, we have it in this row. This is these. There's seven boxes of these creamy scallop potatoes. And back there, there's one package of them. Idahoan mashed potatoes. Um, we got two of these, ate one. Michelle wasn't a huge fan, but they're good. They'll go. And then there's a box of these. They're very good. And here is the rices. Now, we've ate a few of these. We have the Mexican, the pilaf, and the Chinese style. So there's basically 
24 boxes of that rice there and eight Chinese, nine of these uh, pilaf and seven Mexican style. So they'll go on sale again here just now and I'll get more. I keep the dryer sheets right here just purely for the sake of convenience because the dryer is literally right behind me here now and I just turn, grab them, and I'm in business. Up here on this shelf, shelf number five, all of this stuff you see right here, like from there over, we use regularly. Like this is the great value, great value equivalent to Nutella. Let's just put it that way. That one there is getting pretty well down, and then there's another full one there. This is honey butter, doesn't need to be refrigerated. Uh, it's half gone, two thirds gone. This molasses is open, it's the one we're using. Box of cookies there. And I believe seven different varieties, or different boxes of shake and bake. There's three different varieties there. And I'm gonna show you over here on the end. You can see uh, dehydrated peas got uh, dehydrated green onions and actually behind there is dehydrated spinach we use them all in making soups and stews and stuff then the dehydrated stuff works very well back in there we have panko breadcrumbs and our own dehydrated breadcrumbs so here a uh, couple cans of sliced pineapple I'm just gonna set them over out of the road. And here is peanut butter. I think there's there's two of the little bottles back in there, and this one big one, and a bottle of Jif up there. Jif was the one that uh, they, I believe it was Salmonella, they pulled it all off the market. It was a long time that we couldn't get it here, but now you can in some places, so. Michelle got a jar, and that's for some Christmas baking that we're going to do. Here is a row of the Nor uh, sidekicks, I guess they call them. So I'm not even sure how many is there, but quite a few. Uh, we often make them, especially when we're in a pinch here, you know, for something fairly quick. Here we have Great Value Chicken Noodle Soup and Lip Lipton chicken vegetable soup we have the chicken noodle somewhere that's beef vegetable there a couple of them obviously uh, okay three of them so that's good they'll they'll keep for a while two boxes of, of these i'm going to move them as well over just so i can show behind it that's what i'm talking about stuff in behind if i'm going to have stuff behind i like it to be taller than what's in the front Obviously, you would know what I mean without having to explain that too much. That way you can tell what's back there. So here, lasagna noodles. Just a couple of boxes of them. And back in there, we have bags of macaroni and there's bow tie pasta. And I'm not sure what all's in there, but quite a few. Quite a few, quite a bunch too, I should say. Maybe, maybe that's more accurate than to say quite a few. Here, uh, just one of these. And then there's this one, same deal, has milk in it. January 23 is the date on it. That is, I'm not even sure what you call that pasta. It's, uh, it's like almost a double macaroni, you know what I mean? There's, uh, what do I count there? Four boxes of macaroni pasta there. And then... Three different boxes here, alphabet, shape, the stars, which you can see is we've used the most of. It's probably two-thirds empty. And then these soup noodles back there is spaghetti. We've got four boxes. Some of it's whole wheat, some of it's white. All of this stuff here is white. Uh, it's different kinds, hence the different bags, but four of them three of that type and that's the bow tie stuff there and that's orzo up there and back in that container is my open package of spaghetti noodles 
And then there's uh, linguine noodles back in that container as well, I believe. We just have a box or a bag of uh, goldfish crackers and more cup of soups. Those are cup of soups, whereas these ones are like the family size. So that's that shelf. Up here is stuff that obviously doesn't get used very much. Um, cooler and I've got an empty jar there and I have a purpose for that. That's why I put it up there. I uh, just haven't used it yet and just miscellaneous things there. So that's shelf number one. Now over here is the big difference. Before this whole shelf and most of this one, two thirds of that one, had containers stuff like that. So I have eliminated some stuff, a couple of containers. I put a couple up there. So I'm just going to show you what we got on these shelves. So this is the working bag of wild brown rice. Michelle is a huge fan of that. And it's almost empty, but that's okay. And then I have one of these left. Minute rice. This is, and I'm not sure if it's proper to call it Uncle Ben's anymore, but you and I would know that that's what it is. It's Ben's whole grain rice. Uncle Ben's, yep, yeah, converted rice. So I have five full bags there, and this one is about a half bag. In this row, I have one box of couscous. It's open. It's the one we're using. This is another bag of the uh, wild rice here. And then there's this, Vigo, is it? Saffron yellow rice. We've never tried it before. Michelle says she has seen it on other YouTube channels and wanted to try it. We just haven't yet. It takes about 20, 25 minutes to prepare according to the instructions. So we just haven't got there yet. A couple of boxes of Ritz crackers, a box of saltines, Back in there is cereals. Uh, the Rice Krispies will mostly be for Christmas treats type thing. And here, some Mr. Noodles in the cup. Mr. Noodles not in the cup. And that's what these are, two 24 packs of these. Now these are really good. They'll store for a long time. I don't care what the date on there says, as long as they're not in the bright light and they're even if they're even if they were below freezing this stuff will will keep i have trucked all this stuff for years in dry van trailers right in the dead of winter when it's very cold doesn't hurt that kind of stuff so and back in there is our raspberry and our strawberry jam that we made ourselves what's left of it's back in there so moving down to this shelf over here, we have Prego sauces. I went the other day, there was a sale on. I got six cans of Prego sauce, uh, but all they had was the original. Now the original is very good, but I was kind of hoping I could get some different flavors, but that's all they had left, literally. It was a good price, so. I just got six bottles of it, but as you saw, we have lots of pasta, so we need lots of sauce. Here is a Classico sauce. It is the uh, Italian sausage and peppers and onion. That is very good. They were three for nine at Walmart. So with one grocery, we just got three. We'll probably be getting more. Here is some ketchup, obviously, and some barbecue sauce, bullseye. And here is Sweet Baby Ray's. Five bottles of that. It's a yellow mustard. A couple bottles of mayonnaise, three hamburger helper. We've got to get more of that in stock pretty quick. Uh, a jar of pickled beets. Now, this came from the same lady down the hall where there, but you'll see she has the proper cover and stuff on there, so I'm sure they're going to be okay. Uh, and I bought this bottle of pickles here. That's why the ring's still on. They obviously keep them in the store, like at the market. It was farmer's market keep them that way because people are going to be lugging them around and getting them wherever so i just haven't taken the ring off yet down here i have these idahoan mashed 
potatoes. They will keep for a long time because they're just dried potatoes. Have coffee here. There's 14 jars of coffee there. And yes, that's something uh, we get more of. I paid $2.50 a bottle for each one of them. And I actually seen them for $7.50 at another store I was to this weekend. So we're waiting for good sales, obviously. Here is the vacuum sealed white rice there. I forget how many. Well, I got 16 kilograms basically is what's there of the of that um, in the vacuum sealed bags. Eight cups in each bag. Uh, six in that one, if I remember correctly. That is our deep fryer. It's empty. It's clean. It's just there on the shelf. And down below, there's a shelf down there that you can't really even see. It's just literally boxes, basically, of Christmas decorations and stuff. And the reason I set this all up the way I did was because I'm going to take my bottles of water there, and I can stack them five high, and they come to about there, because I really won't need on that shelf for much. And if I do, I'll just move them. But this is not something that I'm getting into real often. So it's okay for right now if the water is up. As I said, you can see it would come up to about there when I put another case on there. So anyway, I think that's it for right now. It's uh, getting quite long. So if you've managed to watch for this long, just know that I appreciate it. So yes, if you've watched this long, I really appreciate it. I know it's gotten quite long there. So uh, thank you. Um, and for now, this is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband, saying God bless and bye for now.